Hey everybody, it's Jesse here from Foraging Scotland. I'm here in the woods in Dumfries and Galloway with Orin. Do you want to say hi, Orin? Hi. We've got a nice mixed basket today. We've got some winter chanterelles, we've got one wood hedgehog, we've got some regular chanterelles and we've got a penny bun or porcini, but we have found an amazing patch of Cantarellus siberius or chanterelles, the classic common chanterelles. So if you want to follow me and Orin down here, we're going to have a look at them and I'm also going to give you some pointers on how you can safely identify these in your own time on your own foraging adventures. But I should say that, you know, this is just a bit of a guide and it's a bit of an introduction and it's important to really, really explore these mushrooms and make your own decisions and use your own best judgment. But look how many there are down here. And the first thing you'll notice is that amazing golden yellow ochre colour. They can also come a little bit paler than this, particularly in the legs, the stipe, the stem. A lot of them are quite white on occasion. I think maybe there's some subspecies that are a little bit white, but usually they're yellow through and through on the outside. They also smell to me very fruity, like apricots. Not everybody reports that smell, but most people do. A good way to tell these chanterelles, true chanterelles apart from false chanterelles, is the fact that the gills on a true chanterelle are what we call false gills. And by that, I mean, if I run my finger along the gills, you should see that they come away very easily. I'm just gently touching these and they rub away, almost like running your finger along combed plasticine. Compare that to the gills on a false chanterelle, which are true, they're very robust and they hold their shape. That's how you can tell them apart. Even better though, to tell them apart, a true chanterelle will always be white on the inside. A false chanterelle will be roughly the same color as it is on the outside. So there you go. There's your chanterelle mushroom, one of the best things that you can eat. These are edible, very, very edible. Uh, very few people, if any, report any gastric upsets at all. They're edible raw, they taste quite spicy, quite peppery, and then they taste really delicate and fruity and very nice and chewy when you cook them. Happy foraging, everybody, and I hope that helps you identify chanterelle mushrooms.